Hi folks, Molly here from the Halliburton County Public Library and Community of Making. For the next series of videos, we're going to play with a little something called Makey Makey. At HCPL, we've been playing with Makey Makey for years. Like this time we made laser cut ukuleles and made them play. Or the time we made a Dance Dance Revolution game out of tin foil. Then there was the time the Rails End Gallery borrowed it and made their luthier exhibit interactive. Then there was that awesome sound experiment workshop we held at the Halliburton School of Art and Design Center for Making with the Freaky Boos. Interactive art with HHSS art students. We made controllers for video games. Then we made human controllers for video games. <laughs> And then there's my favorite thing, humans into instruments. Well, let's talk about Makey Makey. A couple of guys called Eric and Jay over at MIT decided to make it because they want the world to be a construction kit and everything around you to be used for inventing. Makey Makey is a circuit board that you plug into your computer and it acts like a keyboard. Each metal pad you see on the Makey Makey is a conductive touchpad. That means the touchpads on Makey Makey can be connected to other things to invent whatever you can dream up. But let's remember how our basic or simple circuit works. We've got a positive and negative, or in this case also earth. We've got an energy source and something that we're going to power up. Now I found this awesome YouTube channel, Surfing Scratcher, and in this video he talks about how Makey Makey is like a circuit. So what I'll need to do is get another wire and round off our circuit, and as soon as I attach it, our light bulb turns on. Now we can introduce the idea of a switch. You would have used a switch to power a light bulb at home. When the switch is flipped to off, then the light bulb circuit is incomplete. We've broken the circuit. And when we flick the switch to on, we've once again completed the circuit. Now, when we're thinking about Makey Makey, we can replace our battery with a laptop and our switch with a keyboard key. We don't need our light bulb anymore. So when the key A is pressed down, that will complete our circuit. And that's when we get the A displayed on the laptop. We can now replace that keyboard key with the Makey Makey board. We can then associate something like the left arrow press with some bananas. So now our bananas mean left arrow press then we can get involved. And if we attach ourselves to the earth connection, and then we go ahead and we touch the bananas, we should complete a circuit. I'm gonna plug in my Makey Makey board to a laptop using a USB cable. Then along the bottom of the Makey Makey board, we see the ground. I'm going to keep one finger on the ground and use the other to press the space key and look on the screen. It's going to make the word Makey Makey move around. What? what? Next, we're going to take a conductive piece of wire and look on the back of the Makey Makey board. There, we can play with more inputs. So I can touch the W of our keyboard, the A, and so on. Instead of holding my finger to the ground, I can plug in an alligator wire to be my ground and then clip it to my finger. In this world is either a conductor or an insulator. So we're going to create an experiment here where we're going to test items and see which are conductive. So we've grabbed some foil, some scissors, and some glue, and we're going to create our testing station. So we're just going to glue down two strips of aluminum foil. They're going to stretch over the edge of our cardboard, and then we're going to show you how to plug it in. Before we do that, we're going to grab our laptop or computer. We're going to go to a web browser and search scratch.mit.edu. Now, this website's going to be really important when you're playing with Makey Makey. We'll get into all those details in the later video. But for now, inside of Scratch, we're going to look in their search engine for Is It Conductive? Then we'll attach one of our alligator clips to the earth and another alligator clip to the space. Now the other end of our alligator clips get clipped onto our strips of tin foil, one on either side.
back on your screen, you're going to want to click that green flag to begin. Go ahead and touch. Conductive. What? Conductive human. So, girls, let's find out what else is conductive. What should we try? Should we try a banana? Sure, banana. banana. Conductive. So let the games begin. We're going to find out what items are insulators and which are conductive. And you've got to make sure that the item that you choose has to span both sections of tin foil. Um, now let's think about insulators. They are items that do not let electrons flow through it. So things like masking tape, hot glue, paper. Um, conductors are any items that do allow electrons to flow through them with little effort. If an item has any conductivity, Makey Makey will detect it. Most metals are great conductors. Pure water is an actually an insulator, but once water comes into contact with things like salt, humans, etc., it becomes contaminated. Because of this, free ions in water are what make water conductive. So let's watch Makey Makey and Water at Play. Think it. Try it. Make it. So that's just the beginning of our journey with Makey Makey. I just want to remind you that if you go to the library website or over the phone, you can place a hold and take Makey Makey home and follow along with these videos. Make sure you come back next Wednesday as we dig into learning about coding on Scratch and creating all kinds of fun experiments with Makey Makey. And like always, if you happen to try this at home, make sure you use the hashtag HCPL at home.